Hey, Yetta, is our technology making our house unhealthy for us? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We are honored that for over 35 years, we've been able to come alongside you, not only selling, buying, and investing in real estate 3,000 or over 3,117 times, but coming alongside you to build your fun, build your faith, build your finances, build your family and your friends even, and even strengthen, heal, and flourish inside relationships. So really, 35 years of building family, fun, and finances. <laughs> I could say money or wealth, but then that's not a del- an F. That's right. That's and I got to stay with that. What we're going to discover is that there are technologies, some of them are cutting edge, that mm-hmm. can create more health in our bodies because they create more health in our homes. Because creating vital spaces in Canadian real estate is actually harder today mm-hmm. than it used to be. Yeah. Now, this is getting kind of controversial, but Wi-Fi radiation affects some people more than others. We had you tested recently, and and it's affecting you, and it's not affecting me at all. And we live in the same house. We live in the same environment. So it's really what can your body take or handle, or how is it affecting yourself? And and you know what? The, The verdict's out. Some people are saying G5 is horrible for health of humans. Others are saying, ah, it's nothing. And you'll see those all over buildings now, all over downtown and everywhere you drive, you get those. They're kind of like antennas. They look like they're about five or six feet tall or whatever, a white beigey thing. And they're, they're G5 cellular repeaters. And most people have Wi-Fi in their house. It, many of them, including ours, is G5. It's, it's 5G. It's mm-hmm. fast. It's the fastest. But the frequency, the verdict's out on whether it hurts people or not. So how can you protect your family? Well, one is some families don't even have Wi-Fi because they're so insensitive to it that they've had to- so insensitive? No, so sensitive to it that they've had to plug in, you know, with a Cat5 cable and have no Wi-Fi in their house. In other ways- You mean like Bluetooth and- the, they take out the all signals that signals flying all over the place. Yeah, so they take it all out. They keep cell phones away from them. They don't put them near their bedroom. They don't put any repeaters so cell signal strong where the bedrooms are. They they keep it maybe down in the basement where nobody's down there that frequent or like just things you can do to help reduce the interference in your body. And, and as Ken said, for some people, it's a bigger deal than others. And how do you find out? Well, it's tricky because often our health is so progressively slow at deteriorating. And then you said in an earlier segment, eh, it's just age. People will say it's just age. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe it's just age. Or maybe it is that your environment in your own home is actually causing sickness. Yeah. Not only in the house, but in you. Some people actually build shields yeah. that reflect the magnetic uh, radiation or the Wi-Fi radiation. They shield rooms. Um, also, it's becoming popular. And the verdict's out. Some studies are showing now that uh, a grounding sheet for your bed that you plug into the ground outlet on your electrical outlet actually neutralizes the the uh, Electrical electrons current. in your body and allows it to ground it similar to grounding when you work barefoot on the grass that's a great grounding thing it allows your body to get rid of excess electrons and now they're saying it's reducing inflammation it's helping with circulation and it's improving sleep so guess what we're going to try next we are going to try it because when we went to our naturopath which we hadn't been to for a while and had some analysis done, it was clear that my body is not functioning Mm -hmm. like it ought to. I'm still able to record radio shows. I'm still able to help clients buy and sell and invest in real estate. I'm still able to enjoy the grandkids, make good financial decisions most of the time. And I know it's not optimal. Mm-hmm. And I refuse to say it's just an age thing. Yeah. And it's turned out it's not. 
Right. And so it may require some investigation. And if you want to have a conversation about your house specifically and what things you might be able to do, whether you're looking at buying a home or even selling at this point, there are things you may want to do to create a safer environment for yourself or for the next family. Mm -hmm. So you want to connect with us so that we can help you traverse that and build a stronger foundation for whoever's living in the home. Because what we do know is 90% of millionaires own real estate. Yeah. And so and, it's and, not a, and even whether you rent it or you own it, the bottom line is the house could still make you sick. Yeah. And who cares if you got a million dollars? If you're sick, you can't enjoy it. No. Like who wants it? <laughs> who wants it? Yeah. And we talked earlier about yeah. in a previous segment about Yetta being sick every time she came home. Oh, yeah. So what I did do is I bought a filtration unit. It's electrostatic, it filters, but it also ozonates the air, and which kills bacteria and odors and things like that. And so we were able to really clean up our, our environment, I think. And we also found something that we brought into the house, which was an antique, but it was full, it's a musty smell. And we think it was putting mold spores into, the, into the, our house. So that's gone out of the house. And we did the filtration. And then last time you came home from a trip, trip, what happened? I was fine. Yeah. And it had happened three times over a six-month period. And I was totally healthy after, well, feeling decent after about two weeks. So I think my body got accustomed to whatever was in the house. And when it got out and it was in fresher, cleaner air, not at home, and then I came home, I got a bronchial infection three times and they lasted two weeks each. Mm -hmm. That's six weeks I can't get back. And it was only six weeks. Like what if we, I, I started pressing in and praying and asking and going, what could this be? Mm -hmm. And I got, it's this old piece of furniture you brought in. So that was the first thing that went out. And then you bought this unit because it was now all through our house. Mm -hmm. And they're not cheap. No. They're not cheap, but but being sick is being more expensive. Being sick is more expensive than being healthy. So, right. um, another piece that we talked about was water. Right. Water is the lifeblood of the body. We're made up of a lot of it. But what if your water is actually toxic? What if it's not being the healthiest thing? You know, we talked about chlorine. Chlorine's a poison. It kills bacteria. Your body has all kinds of good bacteria in it, right? And what if drinking chlorinated water starts killing the good bacteria in your gut? Now you're not digesting properly. Right. You're not getting the vitamins you should be getting. So we recommend either... Uh, well, we recommend you get counsel. Like we're not yeah. doctors. We're not... No, no, We're no. going to say what we do. Yeah. But I'm just saying we recommend for water... You put either a carbon filter on your drinking water, mm -hmm. even like a Brita will take out the chlorine. Um, you can do reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis will take out chlorine and it'll take out some, some metals and it will also take out bacteria. Filters, yeah. fine enough particle, it takes bacteria out. The bad kind. Yeah, the bad kind. Not the, the good kind. We want to keep the good kind in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you shouldn't really have bacteria in your water. The good bacteria is in your body. That's what I meant. <laughs> yes. Okay. And if you have a, a well, if you're on a, a well, uh, you want to have that water tested about every quarter to six months maximum. You just take your sample bottle, take it into the ministry, and they're going to check it, right? Right. So really what we're asking you to do is take at least one step. Or even let's just say one step today that will create a healthier home that can create a healthier you. Mm. And we're humbled you joined us on Life's Inside Track. Because when we do this thing called life together, together we've got this. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.